For maximum fuel efficiency, a smooth ride, and on-road safety, you must drive your car with the right tire pressure, which tire pressure is too low, and what occurs if it falls to these levels. We discuss when driving on an underinflated tire is no longer safe in this guide. We'll explain the risks of having too low air pressure and show you where to find the recommended PSI. Where to find recommended tire pressure rating. The sticker inside the driver's side door jam indicates the recommended tire pressure. Additionally, this card displays important data like the vehicle's weight and VIN. In the event that you need new tires, it also displays the size of the vehicle's tires. You can also consult your owner's manual if you are unable to find any information there. The listed specifications are for cold tires. As the tires warm up from driving, the pressures will change. What happens if your tire pressure is too low? Loss of control. As the tire pressure decreases, you are aware that the vehicle's handling and steering will be affected. What does this have to do with your ability to maintain vehicle control? Nevertheless, even the most skilled driver occasionally loses control of a car when a tire goes flat. The problem will be even more noticeable if you're driving in bad conditions. Driving at any speed puts you at risk of losing control, particularly if you have to make a sharp turn. There is no justification for putting others and yourself in such danger. It doesn't take long for an accident caused by driving on underinflated tires to change lives. Tire blowout. Whether your tires are over or underinflated, a tire blowout can still happen. There may be a serious problem on the road if the tire structure does not receive the necessary support. If your tires aren't in good condition, they will fail quickly because they are supporting the weight of your car on top of them. The majority of blowouts will happen suddenly and things can get dangerous very fast. You should maintain your composure if you are a part of a blowout. The car may jerk to one side and begin with a loud bang. You run the risk of quickly flipping the car or getting into a more serious jam if you move suddenly. Instead, gently take control of the car while holding the steering wheel firmly. When it's safe to do so, pull over to the side of the road. To let others know you are in danger, turn on the car's hazard lights and drastically reduce your speed until then. Excessive wear and damage. You will be causing unnecessary wear if you keep driving with your tires underinflated. It goes without saying that you will require new tires sooner than is prudent. The tires tread and structure will deteriorate. Maintaining the tires, which doesn't require much time, will stop that from happening. Other parts of the car are also put under more stress when the tires are underinflated. There is no justification for applying excessive pressure to the suspension or steering parts. If you don't check, you may have to replace costly parts in addition to purchasing new tires too soon. All because you failed to pause, have the tire fixed, or add a little air. What is dangerously low tire pressure? The model of your car and the recommended tire pressure determine what is dangerous for it. However, for most cars, anything under 20 PSI is dangerous. In winter, you should typically increase the tire pressure by 3 to 5 PSI. Your tires may lose pressure more quickly than normal in cold weather. This is because the tire's air contracts in colder weather, making it easier for leaks to occur. As the air inside the tires warms up while driving, the pressure also decreases. 